Ever heard of a man who defied the odds, challenged the status quo, and claimed to invent technologies that could revolutionize the world? Today, we're talking about such an enigma. Let's introduce you to Maxwell Chukumbuzo, a figure who's as controversial as he is fascinating. Maxwell is known for his bold assertions claiming to have invented technologies that some might say belong in a science fiction novel. From green energy solutions to advanced communication systems, Maxwell's inventions, if real, could indeed change the face of our world, but where there's light, there's shadow. Alongside these extraordinary claims lies a sea of skepticism and controversy. Some hail him as a genius, while others dismiss him as a charlatan. The question remains, is Maxwell a true inventor or is he just a master of deception? Intrigued. Let's delve deeper into the life and works of Maxwell Chukumbuzo. Every story has a beginning. For Maxwell, it started in the humble surroundings of Zimbabwe. Born into a world where resources were scarce and opportunities limited, Maxwell Chikumbuzo's early life was anything but easy. His family lived in a modest home in the heart of Zimbabwe, a country known more for its political strife and economic challenges than for being a cradle of technological innovation. Yet, even amidst these harsh realities, Maxwell was an anomaly. As a young boy, he demonstrated an uncanny fascination with how things worked. He would often be seen dismantling radios, toasters and anything else he could get his hands on, not out of mischief, but out of a deep-seated curiosity to understand the mechanics behind these devices. This curiosity soon evolved into an interest in technology and innovation. While other children of his age were busy playing, he would be engrossed in books, soaking up knowledge about electronics, engineering, and the world of science. It was clear even then that Maxwell was not your average Zimbabwean child. His early life was a continuous struggle, a battle against the odds. He had to forego formal education due to financial constraints, but that didn't deter him. Instead, he turned his focus towards self-education, spending countless hours in libraries and scouring the internet for information. Despite the difficulties, he remained undeterred, driven by an unfaltering optimism and a belief in his ability to create. He was not just dreaming of a better future for himself, but for his community, his country, and perhaps even the world. Yet these formative years were not just about nurturing his passion for technology, they were also about understanding the value of perseverance, resilience, and determination. These lessons, learned in the harsh school of life, would later become the pillars of his character, guiding him as he navigated the tumultuous waters of innovation and entrepreneurship. These early experiences would shape Maxwell and set him up for a future filled with possibilities, controversies, and questions. From a young age, Maxwell demonstrated an uncanny knack for innovation. This wasn't your typical childhood curiosity, but a profound understanding of complex technologies that would make any adult scientist's head spin. Maxwell's mind was a playground for technological experiments. He tinkered, tested, and transformed everyday objects into devices that seemed to defy the laws of physics. His creations were not just impressive, they were groundbreaking. They were the kind of inventions that could change the world, or at least, that's what he claimed. One of his most significant inventions was the green power machine. It was a device that Maxwell said could generate electricity using radio frequencies. Imagine that, a world where we could harness the invisible waves that surround us every day and convert them into usable energy. It was a concept straight out of a science fiction novel, but Maxwell insisted it was real. He spoke of the green power machine with the kind of fervor and detail that makes you want to believe. He described its inner workings, its potential to revolutionize the energy sector, and its implications for the future. But the more he talked, the more questions arose. How did he come up with this technology? Could it truly deliver on its promises? And most importantly, was it too good to be true? Critics began to question the validity of Maxwell's inventions. They pointed out inconsistencies, unproven theories, and the lack of peer-reviewed scientific evidence. But Maxwell held fast to his claims. He had seen his inventions work. He knew what they could do. And he was determined to prove it to the world. As the spotlight on Maxwell grew brighter, so did the shadows of doubt. His inventions were not just under scrutiny, they were under attack. Yet Maxwell remained undeterred. He knew the road to innovation was fraught with challenges and he was ready to face them head on. Maxwell's inventions were gaining attention but with it came skepticism and doubt. The stage was set for a showdown between a visionary inventor and a skeptical world. The question remained. Would Maxwell's inventions stand up to the test, or would they crumble under the weight of scrutiny? With the establishment of Saith Technologies, 
Maxwell's claims grew bolder and more controversial. As the company's founder, he boldly announced a series of inventions that, if legitimate, would revolutionize the technology sector. Among these were an electric car, a helicopter, and a drone, all supposedly powered by green energy. The electric car, he claimed, could travel over 400 miles on a single charge, but what made it truly remarkable was its supposed ability to recharge itself while driving. A feat of engineering that, if true, would make electric cars far more practical and appealing to the masses. Next, Maxwell unveiled a helicopter, a feat in itself. But this was no ordinary helicopter. This one, he claimed, could be powered by a combination of electric power and radio frequencies, a concept unheard of in the aeronautical engineering world. Finally, his most audacious claim was the creation of a drone. But Maxwell's drone was not just any drone. It was a drone that could harness radio frequencies for power, eliminating the need for traditional charging or battery replacement. As you can imagine, these announcements were met with a healthy dose of skepticism. Critics questioned the feasibility of these inventions, citing a lack of scientific proof and the absence of peer-reviewed studies. They pointed out that Maxwell had not published any patents, which is unusual for someone claiming such groundbreaking technology. Some even suggested that the whole thing was a scam, a clever ruse designed to attract investment for non-existent technology. The controversy was further fueled by Maxwell's refusal to allow independent verification of his inventions. He consistently declined requests for third-party testing, claiming his technology was too valuable to risk exposing. This only heightened the suspicion and added to the controversy surrounding safe technologies. The world was divided. Was Maxwell a genius inventor or a masterful con artist? This question would come to define the legacy of Saith Technologies and its enigmatic founder. The controversy surrounding Maxwell's inventions would take a toll on his reputation and his company. As the whispers of doubt grew louder, they morphed into a deafening roar, casting a shadow over his once promising career. His innovations, which had been hailed as groundbreaking, were now under intense scrutiny. The fallout was swift and all-encompassing. Maxwell's reputation took a severe hit, the man who once stood as a symbol of innovation and hope, was now seen as a figure of skepticism. His name, which had once inspired awe, was now associated with controversy and uncertainty. The public's trust in him dwindled and this had a significant impact on Saith Technologies. Saith Technologies, which was once thriving, found itself in the eye of the storm. The company's shares plummeted and investors began to pull out, fearing the worst. The once buzzing headquarters became a ghost town, a stark reminder of what was and what could have been. Investigations into his inventions were initiated. Experts from various fields were brought in to examine Maxwell's creations. The findings painted a grim picture. Many of his inventions were found to be flawed or incomplete. Some even questioned the originality of his ideas, claiming that they were not his own, but borrowed or stolen. As the dust settled, the reality of the situation became clear. Maxwell's inventions, which he had claimed would revolutionize the world, were largely unworkable. The fallout from the controversy was not just limited to his professional life, but it also seeped into his personal life. Relationships were strained, friendships were tested and trust was lost. With each passing day, the controversy deepened, and Maxwell found himself at the center of a maelstrom. The fallout was far-reaching and devastating. Maxwell was left with a tarnished reputation, a failed company, and a cloud of doubt hanging over his inventions. In the wake of the controversy, Maxwell disappeared from the public eye, but where is he now? A question that has intrigued many, as the man who once made headlines with his bold inventions has now faded into obscurity. From what we gather, Maxwell Chikumbuzo has retreated from the public limelight, but he hasn't completely halted his work. Some sources suggest that he continues his research and development in a more private setting, away from the prying eyes of skeptics and critics. There have been whispers of new, groundbreaking inventions but, without any substantial evidence, these remain mere speculations. Yet, those who have followed Maxwell's journey closely are hopeful that he will resurface with something astounding, as he had done in the past. Interestingly, there have been a few sightings of Maxwell, not in his home country of Zimbabwe but in the United States. Some reports suggest that he has been spotted in Silicon Valley, the global hub for high-tech innovation and development. Could this mean that Maxwell is working on his next big invention in the heart of the tech world? Or is he collaborating with some of the brightest minds in the industry? Again, these are only conjectures as Maxwell has stayed notably silent about his current undertakings. 
His previous inventions, despite the controversy, continue to pique interest. There are still discussions, debates, and investigations about the veracity of his claims. While some dismiss them as far-fetched, others see potential in his ideas and are eager to explore them further. In an age where technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace, Maxwell's ideas, whether real or fictitious, have definitely left a mark. They have stirred conversations and challenged the norm, pushing us to question, to probe, and to think beyond the conventional. Maxwell remains a figure shrouded in mystery and controversy, his inventions a subject of debate. His story, characterized by audacious claims and contentious inventions, continues to intrigue us, keeping us guessing about what might come next. So, is Maxwell Chukumbutso a misunderstood genius or a masterful con artist? As we draw our journey to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the enigma that is Maxwell Chukumbutso. Born into humble beginnings, he emerged in the world of technology with a bang, introducing inventions that seemed too advanced, too revolutionary for our time. From green energy solutions to groundbreaking communication technologies, Maxwell's creations stand as a testament to his claim of genius. However, the narrative took a sharp turn with the Saith Technologies controversy, a debacle that stirred up a whirlwind of questions and doubts about the legitimacy of his inventions. The public was left in a conundrum, torn between the awe of his seemingly futuristic innovations and the skepticism aroused by the lack of scientific validation. The fallout was inevitable. Reputations were tarnished, trust was broken, and the once celebrated inventor found himself in the eye of a storm. The controversy had a profound impact on his life and career, casting a shadow over his achievements and sparking an ongoing debate about the authenticity of his work. Yet in the face of adversity, Maxwell continued to push boundaries. His current whereabouts might be unknown, but his influence in the tech world cannot be denied. His story is a testament to the power of innovation, the allure of the unknown, and the audacity of challenging the status quo. The story of Maxwell Chukumbutso is a riveting saga, a blend of innovation and controversy, genius and deception. It serves as a reminder of our collective responsibility to question, to probe, to seek the truth behind the spectacle. It's a story that encourages us to appreciate the brilliance of innovation, but also to remember the importance of accountability and transparency. In the end, whether Maxwell Chukumbutso is a misunderstood genius or a masterful con artist, that's a question we might never be able to definitively answer. But one thing is certain. The story of Maxwell Chukumbutso remains a fascinating study of innovation, controversy, and the fine line between genius and deception.